When he says, let God be true, but every man a liar, he's assuming, he wants your assumption to be, God's word is true, and every man will lie to me. <laughs> if you have that thought in your mind, you, can't be de- you won't be deceived as much, okay? Sometimes we trust people. It's, it's, sometimes it's, it's warranted. Loved ones close to us and so forth. Sometimes it's not. It's so, certain salesmen and stuff, used car salesmen. No, I'm just playing. We got brother in a used car salesman. And my uncle. Yeah, my uncle Alan. I trust him to sell me a car, not to give me any advice on God's word. Well, <laughs> look what it says here. Yea, let God be true. Now, now check, it, check it out. Let, here's your free will, make your mind understand that the word of God is true and anything you hear from man is a lie until it lines up with the word, the written word of God. Let God be true. Make that your, you know, I tell people, give God the benefit of the doubt. Just say, Lord, you're right, I'm wrong. And when he says every man, he includes yourself. Yea, let God be true, but every man, a what? Liar. Hold your hand here. Go to Psalm 116. Go back to the book of Psalms. We're going to be going to the book of Psalms a lot because Paul is going to quote a lot of Psalms. Uh, Who is he writing to really in in, in chapter 3 of Romans is those Jews who had a question about where the law fits. Um, Remember what he says in chapter 2, verse 17, Behold, thou art called a Jew. So the focus really is Paul dealing with Jews, and, and he's explaining to them, look, God is just to condemn the Gentiles. Yay, they all say yeah to that. But God is just to condemn us Jews too. That's what Paul is, is, is dealing with here in Romans chapter 2 and 3. What did I tell you? Psalm, Psalm 116, look at verse 11. Psalm 116, verse 11. I said in my haste, all men are what? Liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? Uh, verse 10, I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. Paul quotes that. What the, what the psalmist is doing is he's looking out into the world as, as, as the, 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 particularly the, the tribulation and the time of Jacob's trouble. He's like, I can't believe anybody. Everybody's lying to me. You know, in a way, that's how Christianity is today. How many churches out there are teaching the rightly divided word, focusing on the Pauline grace message, focusing on the mystery? The brother who visited us this Past Wednesday, named Brother Jim. He says, Ron, I've been to all types of churches over the years. I'd assume he's in his 50s. When you say about his 50s? Yeah, late 50s probably. And he says, you know what? I've been all over. They don't even talk about Paul. I've had other people, Brother, brother, uh, uh, brother Tim back in Minnesota. He says, man, Ron, people didn't even focus on Paul. They focus on Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Don't even think about Paul. Yeah. Most of Christianity is being lied to and deceived in spiritual things.